Are you a Toa? No, but I'm green and can control air. Perfect. Our longtime green friend that controls air is missing, so you can replace him. Let's go. Yippee! Hello everyone and welcome to the Recap Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at set number 7117, Gresh. The set contains approximately 19 pieces, was released in the winter of 2010, and during time of release was approximately $8. Here we are, the final Green Bionicle set for Generation 1. Now before we get into the review, let me get my disclaimer out of the way. Just because there are pros and cons in this video doesn't necessarily mean they're my personal opinion. I do my best to make these videos as objective as possible and as such any and all comments should be taken as either community opinions or as objective facts about the set I can represent here on camera. So please, unless I explicitly say so, do not assume anything in these videos are my personal opinion. Okay? Awesome. Let's get into the review. Alright, here we have him, Gresh. Now obviously enough, he's a lot smaller and story-wise, Gresh is, well, pretty much the same. The explanation for his new appearance and the new color of sword piece is that he just got some new armor, found it in the desert, and found these blade pieces in the desert. So allegedly these are new weapons and not recolors. So you have it. He meets up with the Toa and the other heroes and he tries and finds this piece. So there it is. That's Gresh, story-wise. Now Gresh is part of a set lineage. There are other versions of him, other sets of him that have been released. So in this instance, what I'm going to go ahead and do, you, uh, do is show you what he was supposed to represent. See, he's only had one other set released of him, making him a relative oddity in the Stars line because he's so new. So I don't actually need to show you any specific type of set of him. I only need to show you his prior incarnation. And he's one of many that has that being the case. So, this is Gresh from 2010, and this is Gresh from 2009. And as we can see here, he's a lot taller. Now, the main notable differences would be the absence of any black, and actually the inclusion of more silver. And this is not because there are more silver pieces. In fact, there's only one less on the Gresh set in 2010 as opposed to, 20, to 2009. However... They are wider and larger pieces in relation to the size of the set. We can also see he has eh, roughly a little bit more surface area as far as the bright green goes. It's a lot more obvious. We don't have any melded pieces as well. It's all flat, solid colors. Additionally, no blue axle, no blue pins, no red axles, none of that, which was on this set. And we can also see the helmet is a completely solid shade. This is completely lime green, and this is a meld. Also, the shield piece, or sword pieces, whichever you prefer, are now silver. And that means he has only silver weapons. Finally, we can see, obviously enough, that his eyes are no longer red. They are, in fact, green. So aside from those differences, they actually do a really good job of representing Gresh. He's got the spiky armor near his shoulders. He has green feet. He's mostly dark green. And he does have the same weapon piece. So, he actually is rather close. So, that about sums it up. That has been the comparison between the two. Let's go ahead and get back to Gresh Stars and actually see what this set is all about. So, Gresh here, we can see... Let's go ahead and get the recolors and new pieces out of the way. Recolors, right out the gate, we obviously have these blade pieces right here. They are new in silver. We have his helmet piece, also new in lime green as a solid color. And we have the torso piece. Now, this is new in Metro Green. We can see it's the longer one of the two. However, I'm fairly certain we have the arms and legs in Metro Green, so I don't think those are new recolors. If they are, feel free to correct me. New pieces, we actually have quite a few. We have the new foot piece, and this time we have it in Lime, of course, because it's Gresh. We have the new armor piece. Now, this is interesting. It's more almost creature-like, almost reptilian, because we do have these kind of scales right there. We also have these spikes kind of shooting off, as well as what look to be either claws or fangs. So they're much more animalistic as opposed to more jungly. And then, of course, we have this piece here. Now this, 
is either a shoulder armor piece or a torso armor piece for Tahu. And then we have this one in gold, as pearl gold. And it's up to Gresh to collect this specific piece. So we have, those are the new pieces and the recolors. So functionality wise, we can see that Greg, my apologies, Gresh, <laughs> Greg, is a relatively standard Agori build. There's nothing particularly special about him. He's standard points of articulation, two in the arms, two in the legs, and one in the head. And to a lot of people, this is a great issue. This is a problem. Because the articulation is poor, it's harder to get Gresh into poses. Now, it's possible, however, the posing is limited, because he has such, such a small amount of articulation. Additionally, he is the final green Bionicle set for Generation 1. And a lot of people have issue that it was Gresh. Many people feel it should have been practically any other green set, be it good or bad. Zaktan, Lesovic, Iruni, just to name a few. And of course, the obvious one being Liwa, because a lot of people actually did want these just to be the Toamata. So, there is that. People do have issue with it being Gresh, because he's a very new set, a new character, only being released in 2009, the year prior. And to some people, just that same year, because they did have a soft release in 2009. So that is a big problem that a lot of people have. Otherwise, he does have some fairly good armor coverage. He does come off with a, new, a unique look, kind of jungly and creature-esque. And it does do a good job of representing Gresh. So there is that. New pieces and the new recolors are, of course, as always, greatly appreciated, and the mocking potential is still there. However, of course, there are brittle joints and brittle bones, of course, in the limbs, so you gotta be careful of mocking with those. That pretty much sums up Gresh. People's issue with him are that he is an Avtorn or a gory build. The articulation is poor, it's very limited, He's a very small set, greatly decreased from his prior incarnation, or what he's trying to represent. However, the new pieces and new recolors are greatly appreciated. And of course, you do collect another piece of the golden armor. So, that about sums it up. That has been Gresh. Do you like Gresh? Do you think he should have been a different character? And if so, please let me know which green character you think should have been in the Stars Wave in the comments below, or on the TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. Thank you all very much for watching, and will join me join me next time when I look over the Toa of Light, Takanuva. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all then.